Okay, okay, what it do? What's cracking? What's happening? It's your boy Lou from the Lou. I'm here to talk some more shit, you know. Keep it live with you on this rainy day. It's raining in St. Louis. Next thing you know, it's gonna be snowing, so y'all get ready. You know how our weather get down. And then the week after, it's gonna be 70 degrees, some motherfucking work. You know how St. Louis weather is. Unpredictable. But anyway, I'm out here living life, trying to anyway. I don't let the motherfucking haters get in my way. It's none of my concern. None of my concern. They can hate on me if they want. I don't give a fuck. I got shit for them to hate on. Straight up. But anyway, what y'all up to? These motherfuckers can't ride. What's going on? Let me introduce myself. 44 year old man. I ain't gotta tell my race, you can see it. I got kids and shit. I love my kids, they wild, so when I love them, they ain't wild like bad, but you know, they crazy, funny. I ain't gonna tell you, you know, what I've been through too much, you know, but I'm from St. Louis. I done been through the streets, you know what I'm saying? The ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. I've been in and out of prison. I did time in the state, I did time in the feds. Mm. Run with Crip niggas, of course. St. Louis got gangs, like every other city. It's just, you know, um, you know, St. Louis, I did it, you know. And I don't like some of the shit I see. So I, I'm here to speak on the loop, cause this my motherfucking hood, it's my territory, you know what I'm saying? It's where I'm from, it's where I reside, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit I can get into. I'm going to get into depth about everything about the hood. You know, I ain't I ain't trying to compete with these other YouTube niggas and shit. I'm not about to be interviewing no superstars. Don't get it fucked up. I know some niggas. I know some superstars now, but we ain't talk about that. I'm not here to interview niggas, you know, and shit like that. If I interview somebody, they're going to be from your block. You know, your hood, your area, somebody you know that done been there, done that, put some work in, did they time, or whatever, came home, or did what they did to get through in life. You know, educated niggas, up, shit like that, street niggas, you know, good niggas that went bad, bad niggas that went good, drug dealers, ex-drug dealers, you know what I'm saying, dope fiends, ex-fiends. I'm trying to get in touch with them and, and find out what their view is on the city and how they can contribute and, and what we need to do and make it better. You know, that's what I'm trying to do, and, and I got a lot of homies that call me OG and shit. You know, I done did some things, and I've done some things I shouldn't have done, some things I should have done, you know, and it goes both ways. I don't regret nothing. Some things I could take back, I probably could, and I probably wouldn't, but life is what it is, and you play them cards that you dealt. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck with dealing them. Play them motherfuckers. Straight up, when it's your turn to deal, you can deal yourself a fuck the pain. You know, like you play a spades. And you did your part, they be like, who the fuck dealt this? You be like, you don't even want to say it's you. <laughs> but to keep it 100 with you, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You got to play what you got. So, you know, I, I ain't going to get you know too far into it. But I, I want to get into the minds of the people that's in them streets. That's still out here in the struggle. You know what I'm saying? That's who I want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? So if I do any kind of hood interviews, that's what I'm doing. And it's all St. Louis. It's all real. It's all homegrown, it's all born and bred right here in the loop. You know what I'm saying? From 170 to 70 to 270 to 44 to 64 to south side, north side, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? From Florissant, St. Charles, goddammit. I might reach out to Chesterfield, you know what I'm saying? Like the projects, the hood, you know, I'm trying to get in touch with the real ones. You the ones you call OGs. The little homies you call them BGs, you know. I follow some niggas from St. Louis and shit. You know, I, I see well, people what happened to the little youngster, uh, Dirty Grimy and shit. You know, I see he caught a strap case and I hope he keep his head up. You know, shit like that. I, I need us to progress as a city because you look at these other cities and shit and they balling, they doing their thing, you know. And some niggas that got on her and, and, and didn't put everybody on, I see, and they should have. But, but, you know, when, when you get it, everybody got to eat. If everybody ain't eating, we looking at what you eating and we taking your plate. You know, that's how we get down. You know, and that's just 100 from me to you. Um, you know, married man, of course, you know. Married man, of course, love my wife. Big head ass, I love her. You know. Y'all gonna meet her, but I want to talk about the hood, though. I want to keep it, I want to keep it hood. I want to keep it political in the hood. I, I, I don't 
get into the politics too much because they crooked. And the niggas in the hood that you come up with can be crooked as politicians. So you heard it. It don't even matter. I can talk to the homies in the hood and get their view and how they feel because everybody got their own thought and their own mindset. And you want to tap into that, you know. You know, and, and I, I, don't, I ain't, you ain't gotta, I ain't looking for no handouts. Doing no cash apps and shit, just fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I respect y'all, y'all respect me. If any disrespect given, it could be dished back out. You know what I'm saying? We from them hoods, them blocks, them corners, and the avenues, and we get down like that, like everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we gonna elaborate on what can we do to make the hood better. You know what I'm saying? What can we do to make these politicians and the people that consider themselves to get money? How they can drop that money down on us, you know what I'm saying? How can they share the wealth and, and, and get some of these closed buildings open up so people can live in them? We got a lot of closed schools in St. Louis, you know, and, and you ain't got no school, you ain't got no education. Don't nobody want to go nowhere, don't nobody want to do nothing. They feel like it's a waste of time, it's a loss, and we need to reopen some of these schools and get these little homies something, some, something to do. You ain't got in them streets too long, you know what they say? You know what my grandma used to say, rest in peace. I, idle hands do the devil work. You know what that means? You sit around too long, you're gonna start doing some foolishness, you know, and and I did that. I did had a lot of spare time and I got into some foolishness, led me to ten years, you know what I'm saying? Not a place you wanna be for some bullshit and give a fuck what you doing. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of homies locked up and I, I hope they doing their time well, keeping their head up. And I ain't forgot about you big dog OGs and little homies, just keep your head up. You know, we out here loving y'all and, and we ain't forgot about y'all flat out, you know what I'm saying, but this right here is just, this real spill, I just want my people to understand that, that niggas got y'all back, you know what I'm saying, I know it's hard, the streets wild and the motherfucker out here, and the ones that's riding and keeping it going, keep it going, you know what I'm saying, don't stop, don't quit, keep going, it, it, the rainbow itself is life, you know what I'm saying, the pot of gold at the end is that legacy that you leave for your family, your kids and whatnot, you know, what you believe to your little brothers and your little sisters, you know, and, and those are things that you want to leave. That's the gold at the end of the rainbow that people be looking for. The rainbow is life. You see how colorful life is? That's the rainbow. That's why you got all the different races. That's why life is so vibrant. That's why when they use descriptive the things, they use colors. So I'm saying, he, he cool, he blue. He blue, cool, blue is a cool color. You hear me, cuz? And you got the red, you be fired up. You be Red, you know what I'm saying? Mad shit like that. So you got these colors that represent and they represent life. And life is that rainbow. And that rainbow is, is what we're going through right now. It's a lot, it's a struggle, but but it is a part of gold. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's sometimes it's how we get there. It don't matter. We're gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? We gotta help each other get there. You know what I'm saying? So we, we got each other back in this hood, cause I'm on Twitter and I promise, I promise I see niggas from St. Louis. Motherfucker get on Twitter clowning the loose shit. Nigga, don't, don't let us run across you because we're going to punch your head, for real. We stick together on Twitter, and, and, and we stick together. We stick together with Mike. Mike passed. Rest in peace, son. Rest in peace. You know we love you. We stuck together that day, and we got the hood right. We got St. Louis right that year, remember? And we get it right whenever it's time for call for action. You know what I'm saying? But when it's not call for action, we still need to stick together. We still need to ride because right now the giant ain't sleeping. He having dreams of what he gonna do when he wake up. And when that giant wake up, he turn shit up again. So while we chilling and while they, why, why, why the oppositions, the oppositions, the other color, the rainbow spectrum. I don't even know if that color is on the rainbow. That color ain't on the rainbow. We don't talk about that. But while they doing what they doing, turning the city up and running up in these capitals and creating all this chaos, now is our time to come up with our plan. Now is our time to manipulate the system the way we need to manipulate flat out. So, so through this quarantine, niggas been getting money and all this other shit. Get it. Get it. We ain't using scams no more. Find them loopholes. That's how they get their money. That's how they get billionaires and trillionaires and billionaires. They find loopholes. They don't pay taxes. They find loopholes. Trust me. Ain't no scam. They find loopholes. It's a scam. You going to jail. Find that loophole. It's always a loophole. It's always a little bitty. Hey, let me wiggle my way through. And you always and get your extra. You ever meet somebody that always get that extra and be like, damn, how y'all always got that? And how y'all find them loopholes? You ain't scam. You find them loopholes. You see what I'm saying? So you just keep your eyes open. And, and, and I just want us to stick together. You know what I'm saying? We got beef. We settle that shit. You know what I'm saying? We handle that shit. But other than that, we.
we gotta ride together. We gotta get it, man. St. Louis gotta be one of a hell of a city, so we gotta get it. We gotta get it. I done missed my turn speaking to y'all. I'm gonna get back at y'all, though. Peace.